Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and this is my channel where we talk about all the houseplant things. Today we're going to be talking about what went really well in my move and what went really not so well in the move and sort of what I would change in the whole process. So if you missed it, I did just drive across the country to my new home in Columbia, Missouri. I was living in Arizona and now I'm living in Missouri. It's a very big change. So far, I love it. With me on this move, I brought my husband, my dog Leo, and over 100 houseplants. And if you wanna see how I did that, you can check out this video. I made a vlog about the process. It's a fun video. I have a little bit of a five hour energy moment. It was great. <laughs> I feel like I learned a lot of lessons in this move and the biggest lesson being that it's really important to take everything one step at a time and also that plants will be okay with a little bit of neglect. And the second thing that I learned in this process is that all plants can be replaced and that took a lot of pressure off of me to try to be as perfect as possible throughout this process. So I wanna organize this video in three sections. So that would be part one, packing, part two, moving, and part three, acclimating. So let's get started with part one and talk about the packing process. So in the packing process, I was really heavily relying on these black crates that I got from a friend and you know what, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that all my plants would fit in these crates and that is just not what happened. <laughs> I didn't realize how many plants I had until it was time to start packing them up and I ran out of crates before I even got to the kitchen. And if you remember my old setup, I had a lot of plants in the kitchen. <laughs> so when I use these crates again, absolutely so if you are in the process of moving or you know that you will be soon definitely go to a local nursery and see if they have anything that they move plants in and you know something like that i'm sure that they will i'm sure they'll be happy to help i think that these crates were the best fit for shorter plants or hanging plants that could be like sort of wrapped up around itself those are my plants that did probably the best in the move the plants that were short and in those crates because i was able to stack them and they all fit inside there was nothing really hitting them they were well protected if i was to do it all over again i would not put tall plants in the crates like i did i was nervous with those plants that were taller than the crate that they would get crushed or scratched and that's exactly what happened they did sustain some damage it wasn't major damage but i feel like it could have been avoided if i packed them differently the second plant carrying mechanism that i used was cardboard boxes the boxes were really great for my taller plants and it made moving them really easy but one thing about the boxes that i would change and this is something that i realized later on and i will absolutely be doing this every time i move moving forward but when the movers came, they brought these really tall wardrobe boxes, which is basically just for like hanging clothes. Those would be perfect for tall plants because you would be able to place them into the box and then, well, place a bunch of them in the box so that they're not moving around and then seal it up. So it's basically like they're being shipped in the mail, except you are handling them. Just the ability to close a box with plants inside of it gives them so much more security. Something about the packing process that I would definitely change is I put a lot of my plants in the boxes, but I didn't put all of them in the boxes. And I thought perhaps since the U-Haul was packed tight, it would be fine. Make sure that every single plant is inside of a box or a crate or a something. Part two, moving. I decided to move all of my plants in a small 5x8 U-Haul and that felt worth it to me because number one, my plants are my babies. I did not want to get rid of a lot of them. And number two, plants are a really big part of Thela plants and all of this and I just really didn't want to start over with a new collection. I can't say much went wrong in the moving process, but one thing that did go wrong is there was a hanging plant that we forgot to put on the ground. It wasn't secured in a box, so this kind of goes back to that, but it was hanging on the railing on the side of the U-Haul and it fell in the process, you know, because things are moving around and it crushed some cactus and those cactus did not recover unfortunately and that's pretty much the only thing that went bad i would say as far as that goes something that you should consider when you're moving cross country for multiple days is the outside temperatures so if you're moving in the dead of winter and you're expecting to put plants in a u-haul i just think that that's not a good idea number one i mean if anything put a bunch of heat packs in the boxes i don't really know any other solution so you'd probably have to move with the plants in your car but we were lucky enough to move in early fall 
so it kind of worked out really well. The temperatures during the day were moderate and in the evenings it was around 60, 70 degrees in the evenings. So if the temperature is going to be under 55 degrees, I would really suggest not packing your plants in a U-Haul and having them in a more temperature controlled situation. So if you are a person who is moving in the winter, I would really suggest perhaps packing the plants and shipping them to your new address with a heat pack because Honestly, if I wasn't able to rent a U-Haul, this is probably what I would have done. Part three, acclimating. So we arrived to the home pretty late, just before midnight actually, but we knew that since it was actually going to be cold that night, that we needed to bring the plants inside. I let them acclimate for about a day, still in their boxes in the sunroom. And then the day after that, I took them out of their boxes and I started to just clean them off because I knew that they were just covered in dust, which is normal, I suppose, when you're driving in a U-Haul. I mean, they're probably not airtight, so there was dust all over the plants, and what I was doing was I was washing them off with the hose, but I was also checking the soil to make sure that they actually needed water. So a lot of the time, I check to see if my plants need water based on what the leaves are doing. So if the leaves are drooping, then I'll water it, and you know, obviously if the soil is dry and the leaves are drooping, that means this plant is thirsty. A lot of the leaves were droopy just automatically because they were in shock. They were learning this new environment. They had been thrust into something totally weird. So I wanted to really thoroughly check the soil before I watered to ensure that I'm not creating a root rot situation because that is probably something I'm going to be dealing with a lot more here in an environment where things don't dry out really, really fast. We have this thing called humidity in Missouri, and it's a new concept to me. <laughs> so once I finished watering, washing, and assessing all of the plants, you know, removing dead leaves and whatnot, I placed them all on saucers and just put them in the sunroom on the ground, and they acclimated in there, and I did not touch them for probably a week. And that wasn't a technique. It's not like this, you know, perfect seven-day rule. But I just truly was so exhausted from everything that I couldn't even think about plant care. So I will admit that there have been some casualties since we've arrived. Some probably due to me kind of being neglectful and tired, but honestly a lot of it was probably just from acclimating and that was half expected. I was really, not even half, I was fully expecting some things to not make it. <laughs> it has been mostly cactus so far, which is really sad, but again, all plants can be replaced. I hope that this synopsis of the move was helpful because honestly, it seems like a lot of people are preparing for a similar move to me. We're discovering new places, we're moving, and that's really great. And I hope that these videos can be a great resource to refer back to when it's time for you to move as well because moving is inevitable. <laughs> Everyone does it. So if you're wondering how I'm going to be setting up plants in my house, that's a wonderful question. <laughs> I still don't really have a clue how I want to work it all out, but I've gotten a start on the sunroom and it's looking really cool so far. Like I said, I can't wait to show you. If you want to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss future uploads when I decorate my house with my plants, and of course, a new houseplant tour coming up. That would mean so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.